I remember still the first day that I realized that walking is a very good exercise for many different benefits for your health and fitness and back then I also remember very first days I woke up at 5 a.m. before high school during my senior year because I wanted the change and let me tell you that one of the most consistent habits that I had and I still have is by walking almost every single day for some form and moving forward three years ago until now walking has been one of those activities that has changed my life and this is my motivation to create this video by telling y'all why walking is one of the most underrated activities and how you can use it to your advantage to have a better life and also a healthier and more active life so let's get into it number one is that you are mindfully more in the present moment amazing right so one of the first benefits that you will experience when started to walk every day is by being more in the present this is number one because while you walk you see all the vast environment around you and breathe the fresh air and also all the animals the fire all the birds you see and bonus to you if you do it in the mornings because like another thing that PhD Andrew Huberman recommends also, all the recommendations are already told about him, is that by taking sunlight directly at your eyes one hour after waking up. So one of the key benefits of walking and going outside is of course taking sunlight. Right now I'm taking sunlight right into my eyes. Of course, I'm not watching the sun directly because I'm not, I don't want to get blind. But doing this every single day for at least 20 minutes as Andrew Humberman has said in so many of his podcasts, in, in so many of his podcasts, you will achieve higher testosterone levels, higher levels of vitamin D, and of course, you burn some calories and increase your steps kind of later. So that's a win-win situation right there, right? So always remember to do your walking, especially in the morning. Why not to do it also while you walk so you reap all the good benefits at the same time? The benefit number two is that it improves your cardiovascular function and heart health too. Walking is a fantastic cardiovascular exercise that gets your heart pumping up, pumping and strengthens your cardiovascular system, it strengthens your heart, increases your RPM. So regular walking can lower your risk of heart disease too and reduce blood pressure. So when you get more active, your whole body starts changing physiologically it's amazing and this is why walking is one of the best ways to kickstart this physiological change which your body will be more active another great benefit in which is number three is about weight management and also increased caloric burn engaging in regular walking can help with weight management and calorie burn so one of the things that i like about sundays is that i have the time to walk very long bouts of time because I do the laundry at mornings and the laundry takes around two hours. So around those two hours while the clothes are cleaning and then drying, etc., I just walk. And the good thing that is that my college is very close to the laundry. So I walk and walk a lot, like more than an hour and 30 minutes. And it's very, very good for maintaining a good physique. Also burning calories, getting your steps in and because also it's sunday you have more time because it's the weekend of course i really recommend doing these things instead of just playing video games or scrolling to social media or working too hard or studying too hard all day just take a break and one of the best breaks is walking now walking is a low impact exercise that can be easily incorporated into your daily routine of course so by maintaining a brisk pace or a quick pace depending on your experience you can burn calories, shed excess pounds, and maintain a healthy body weight. Take in mind though, that if you want to lose weight, the key habit is to be on a caloric deficit, like I mentioned already in, my, in one of my videos. So, or by eating less calories that you expend in a day. But walking allows you to increase that daily calorie expenditure, which is all, allows you, of course, to eat more while still being in that, that fat burning zone, AKA caloric deficit. When it comes to mental well being and stress relief, Walking can also be a great exercise for these cases, of course, because like I mentioned before, walking has tremendous benefits, mental health benefits too. It releases endorphins, which can boost your mood, reduce stress and alleviate symptoms of anxiety and depression. Walking in nature, especially in green spaces, has been shown to have a, even a greater positive effects on mental well-being. In my experience, when I have days 
or weeks where my stress is higher than normal because of studies or too much work or just some, some events in my life that leads to more stress i realized that if i just take one a 30 minute walk it will reduce my stress levels a ton so that's why it's also one of the best benefits it reduces your stress so if you feel down make sure to just get up go out of your home walk around in town or go to the gym go to the fat mill and walk for some 30 minutes you'll see the benefits right right after it Tr trust me as a bodybuilder who has been in the game of lifting weights and also expanding my comfort zone by progressive overload and lifting more heavy weights or more reps, more sets. I have experienced some pain in different areas of my body and also in my joints, but one of the key exercises that have made me keep the pain in bay or by reducing the pain is by walking and walking has also helped me in this because if you have pain especially in your joints the best thing that is by not staying immovable okay instead you should at least do some rehab exercises one of the best ones that you can do of course is by walk because your joints working well is by walking because you engage your nervous system and this way your pain reduces and it also helps you by managing the pain easily so i'm no doctor so make sure that it go to a therapist if it's a severe case of course so i have been watching lately videos about this doctor called peter atia in which he has talked all things about longevity and when it comes to exercises to improve this and to improve longevity walking is one of those exercises that you can do yes you should do zone 2 cardio but if you increase your steps to the recommended 8,000 or more daily steps a day is way better for you because the average american only walks around 3,000 steps and that's way too low for optimal health conditions because studies have shown that regular walking can increase longevity and promote overall health lower your, the risk of various chronic diseases that and also improve your immune function and contribute to a healthier more active lifestyle like i have, have mentioned so get off your couch in your afternoons and take some time to walk just by doing that you will improve your health in so many factors that it's just incredible so here's the takeaway walking has so many benefits that from fat loss to improve longevity this is one of the easiest ways to start your fitness journey just like i did more than three years ago when i really wanted to change my lifestyle and walking was one of the first steps for my change in my habits if you want more awesome advice like this make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like my video if you enjoyed a lot of new things in this video about walking and uh, to make new habits lastly if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like don't forget to again lastly work it enjoy it and master it. See y'all in the next video.